Hey everyone, Tom Rafferty. I'm gonna to talk today about taking control of your client meetings before you even go into a client meeting and maintaining control once you're in there. Obviously, I'm in my car and I wanna talk specifically about meetings where you go to a client location to do a sales pitch or a presentation or a demonstration and you've brought with you uh, colleagues, maybe it's a product engineer, maybe it's a manager from your company or another sales rep who specializes in something you don't. Before you go into that meeting, you need to have a huddle. Um, I used to do it when I could in the parking lot right when we pulled in. If, if I drove and I had the people with me in the car, I would say, here's how the meeting's gonna go and I would set expectations for them. You could do this, of course, in the office, if you're working in the office. Uh, beforehand, you could do it by a, a video meeting. I, I would say don't do it by email. That assumes the person's gonna read the email and understand what you're telling them and take it to heart. You really need to tell this to people and read their body cues to, to make sure they understand. It, it's that important. Um, because if you go into a meeting and the people you brought make that meeting go sideways, your relationship with that client can go sideways. So um, before you go in, tell your coworkers how the meeting is gonna go. I would say, this is what I used to do. I would say, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna introduce myself by name and job title. I'm gonna introduce all of you by name and job title. And if the, um, if the client is new to us and we're new to them, I'm gonna give a, a brief summary of our company, a brief history, and I mean brief. Don't go into a doctoral level thesis. Nobody cares. You're in there to do a piece of communication. You're not there to give this person a, a, a PhD degree in your company or anything about any of you in that room. Make it brief. And then um, do the thing you came there to do. Uh, if it's a presentation, do the presentation. If it's a, um, if it's a demonstration, do the demonstration. But you gotta let you gotta set up these expectations before you even walk in that door. You have to be the quarterback of that meeting. Here's a very important point. You can't try to be nice because you want to be liked. If you try to be nice because you want to be liked, what ends up happening is could happen, not necessarily. The meeting goes sideways, and then neither the client nor your coworkers like you because it it all went, all this effort went for nothing. So take control, even if you're not assertive, um, take control, people will respect you for it. Of course, be kind, be polite, but take control of that meeting uh, before you even go in. And while you're in there, take control of that meeting, keep control of that meeting, because just because you told your coworkers that they should um, only speak the amount that's adequate to say what they need to say, uh, it doesn't mean they're going to do that. It, it, it's really a function of human nature, not just business meetings, that if you let people talk, they'll just talk and talk almost endlessly. I mean, observe this at, at, at dinners with your friends or relatives, observe it at um, you know meetings of clubs you're in, whatever. If you, there's oftentimes someone at the table or at the gathering who can't shut up and um, they monopolize the conversation. You know, they'll talk 90% of the time, never have the courtesy to give someone else a chance to speak. And, you know, if you have introverts in, in, the, in the crowd, and you almost certainly will, not everyone is assertive or an extrovert, those people are gonna leave that, that gathering feeling badly and not wanting to come back. You don't want to have your your clients feeling that way, so you you really need to um, herd the cats, so to speak, as the saying goes. If your people are um, talking too much, it's better to interrupt them politely and make them stop than to let them go on indefinitely because you don't want that little awkwardness of um, of that of that uncomfortable interruption for them. So. Um, make sure you give your clients a chance to speak. Ask questions, ask your clients questions. You know, as a salesperson, you need to qualify your client, you need to qualify their need, and you need to find out what they're all about. 
what I would tell my uh, my team before we went into these meetings is that um, after we all say our piece, et cetera, I'm gonna get the client talking. You have precious little time with this person, okay? You need to hear what they have to say. They can look you up online. Um, you can you can send them product brochures, etc. But this is a rare chance for you to discover what this client and their team is all about. You could find things out that you can't find out online. Um, you could find things out that are not public knowledge if you'll just shut up and listen. So, be a quarterback for your meetings. Have a huddle before the play starts. Have a huddle in your car. Have a huddle in the office. Have a, uh, a video huddle. Don't do it by email. And um, set expectations before you go in. Once you're in there, you have to stay in control. You have to stay in control. So you have to be the quarterback even when you're in there. If someone's talking too much, you have to politely and gently make them stop and pass that mic figuratively to the next person. And always ask your client questions and open the floor to them so they can tell you things about themselves. First of all, it's just it's just human courtesy to have a, a conversation where both people participate. That, that's just human courtesy and you need to do that in all aspects of your life. But when you're dealing with someone who uh, could simply go to your competitor because you lack human courtesy. It's it's very important that you give them a chance to speak. But it's also important because you'll find things out about them that aren't public knowledge, and and then you can you know maybe tailor your solution for them and and, and serve them even better. So, be the quarterback of your meetings. Don't leave it to chance. Don't try to be nice and be liked. That will often backfire on you. And uh, I think you're going to have some successful meetings. And I think your client's going to notice because your competitors are in there. And, um, you know, quite frankly, they're, they're probably letting their meetings go sideways and, and not asking questions. And your client will notice that you have. So um, that's it for today. See you next time. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.